Kareth building is an exceptionally um, brave initiative. Well, we've uh, been involved with the project here at Kareth for uh, almost four years now. The whole project was going to be done in a budget of $10 million. It uh, gained a life of its own and it grew to what it is now. We started with uh, the design phase, uh, worked through the uh, design review and development, we walked all the way through um, the construction of the facility. We've moved much further along the line towards making the building highly modular. Because if you think about Kareth, it's effectively, uh, if, if, with, with its full complement of investigators, will effectively be nine university departments. It brings incredible cohesion in terms of research and, and activities. In order to um, deal with a very large need for up to, say, 10 scientists working with their research groups, the building had to be very large in addition to being very complex. I guess the challenges happened on a number of levels. Uh, firstly, uh, we had a challenging site, both historically and physically. One of the major design challenges of the building, uh, besides the sophistication of the laboratories and the service elements that go into that, was the location uh, in between three of the existing medical school buildings. It was, at that time, a dream of those who worked at the medical school that that medical school campus would one day be unified in some way that there would be an anchor building that would bring the main building to the north together with the scattered buildings on the rest of the campus all together in one cohesive whole. We ended up also putting the whole building into a 3D model which is very advanced and that's going to be used for the ongoing management of the facilities. You would use something like the 3D model that we have developed to try and track and trace problems virtually before sending in the repairman. Technically it's right up there with anything in the world uh, from, a, from a design point of view and the platform is there to manage it very efficiently as well going forward. The building also and the facility were mainly focused on the biocontainment of BSL-3, that's biosafety level 3. In this building the HVAC system was in fact the dominant structural component. The details that are in that are such that you have redundancy on your mechanical system, so in the failure of one fan, the second fan picks up and maintains the pressurization. Technologically, this building is very, very advanced. The whole idea is a very flexible, modular building that is able to be adjusted and, and map itself directly onto the research interests of each investigator. The Kareth building uh, is a first world building with an African design. When we started planning how the building was going to be decorated. We wanted something that was iconic and communicated something of the research that was going to be taking place in the building. The way that the, the mosaic elements were handled and the way that the designs were interpreted to go onto the building was in such a way so that a whole lot of different participants could be involved in the making of the work. The idea was to continue the design ideas that had started on the building right through. But in the end we also made um, a, a very challenging task for her where we said that we wanted her to include a social development angle in her work. Participants working on the project, a whole lot of people came from a connection with the Seneca Teba Clinic at McCord's Hospital. A lot of these people are people living with HIV. Um, they have had no formal training in anything and don't have work and so this was a great opportunity for these people to learn a skill and learn how to do the mosaics and participate in the project and, and earn some money doing so. Jane responded, I think, wonderfully to the brief on producing something that gave some early announcement of the creativity and the research focus that was going to happen in the building. The mosaics that will be on the building really give it a unique touch. I've never worked on a building that is as complex as this. At the end of the entire process, you're going to have a state-of-the-art facility, uh, second to none here in South Africa and most likely in the world. We will be enjoying facilities that are comparable to those anywhere in the world, right here in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, where we see such high rates of TB and HIV.